so this is the new uh, Migo tablet user experience. Um, it's new and different from what is in the market today. Uh, it's called object-oriented user interface. Uh, what that means is, uh, rather than start from an application-oriented user interface, which is about finding an application, opening in that application, and then playing the content. This is about going to the content immediately. So, for example, if you want to play a video, you just go to the video, touch, play it. So the content is at right at your fingertips, and you play it. Um, it's a consumer tablet, so your most typical tasks are you're watching video, or you're browsing the web, or uh, you're, you're so, it's a sh social device, so all your friends are here, your music, your photos. Uh, so it's all organized as panels with all the content that you most commonly use, the people that you most commonly interact with, all organized as panels. Um, it's designed for a multitasking experience uh, from the beginning. That means uh, you can seamlessly switch from task to task. So, for example, you are browsing, but now you want to open a video, uh, you want to play a music. You play music while. <laughs> So pre-production, I guess. Yeah, it's an early version of the UX. The complete version will be available in the April time frame. April. Uh, so this is a development platform. Okay. In April, uh, we should also expect probably a Nokia tablet to run on this. Uh, I cannot comment on Nokia products. I don't know what their plans are. But we will definitely see Migo tablets uh, in the market by end of the year. Do you know which major manufacturer could be it besides Nokia um, possibly? I know ASR has publicly announced that they will have a yes. Migo based tablet. Um, and there are others that we're working with, I, I can comment on. Um, so this is an open version of it. This, uh, today's event is about uh, opening the UI for developers to start developing applications for. So Intel also has an app, up, uh, app store and yeah. an app developer program. And uh, they can get access to this UI today from our app developer.intel.com site uh, and they can start sub writing applications and submitting applications to the app store. So is there any cute API or is this a, a yeah. wrapper available? <laughs> yeah, so yes, the, there is a SDK uh, for Migo SDK, Intel Migo SDK, uh, which includes the Migo open source SDK from Migo.com. It includes uh, Intel tools and it includes the uh, elements that is needed to submit applications into the web store, I mean the app store. Uh, so it's a full suite of uh, development tools and uh, development environment and emulators so application developers can start writing apps. Awesome. Thank you very much. Sure.